Diolch yn fawr, mae'n bleser fod yma heddi a diolch i chwarae teg am ofyn i fi siarad. Um, I'd like to thank the organisers for inviting me to speak. Um, I think it's um, still very important, um, as Charlotte was saying, that we mark International Women's Day um, to celebrate the, the role that women play um, in society, but also to raise awareness of those things that we still need to fight for justice for, such as equal pay, women's rights issues. Um, they're still as relevant today as they were 40, 50 years ago, so I think it's still relevant to our lives today. Um, when I was sitting down to consider writing this speech, it was difficult to understand personally um, why I had been asked to take part in this event. Um, sometimes I find it difficult to see, when I look inwardly at myself, how it is that I inspire other people. Um, I think it's much to do with the lack of confidence that lots of women, I'm sure, here today have. I certainly have it. And sometimes the inability to push ourselves forward um, for personal recognition or for personal praise or gain. Um, where I always start from is how I can advance a certain agenda or campaign, how I can influence key decision makers, um, and how we can make people's lives better. Um, some people say this is idealistic, and often they see this as a negative thing. But I don't think that age or sex should make any, make any of us any less idealistic. Being idealistic is not naive, and I'm sick of people telling me that it is. Um, if by being a politician I can help others to the best of my ability, if my title assists in this process, then so be it. But I don't relax of an evening congratulating myself for, that, for example, I may have helped lobby the local council to get a single mother a better place for her children to live, um, or whether I've harassed the health minister to create more resources for eating disorder provision in Wales, or whether I've encouraged more younger people or more younger women to join Plaid Cymru in my area. I personally see it as something that I would expect anyone to do, and I'm merely part of that process or that jigsaw of encouraging other people to find their voices and to find the get up and go in their selves um, because they have the passion and the drive that I have to get out there and inspire other women and other people. The crux of what I'm trying to say is that some people may find other people inspiring, some may view them as the opposite, but it's how our actions and work reflects the aspiration of inspiration, drive and the get up and go that's the most important factor. It may be no surprise to some when I say I've always been quite political. When people say that I am young to be in politics, my response is that it's all relative. For example, I was out on the streets of South Wales campaigning against the anti-apartheid movement in South Africa from the age of six. I was handing out leaflets asking people to boycott South African goods every cold Saturday in Merthyr Town Square. I went to see Desmond Tutu speak at a packed out church in the town. All of these early experiences, I'm convinced, seeped into me so that as an adult, I felt a duty to campaign against injustice and inequality whenever I saw it. At that time, I was evidently, evidently inspired by people like Nelson Mandela as I chomped at a birthday cake outside Mirtha Library who, to celebrate his birthday when he was imprisoned in South Africa. But looking back, I was inspired by my parents who took us everywhere on rallies and demonstrations, who didn't shy away from showing us the harsh realities of how people were treated elsewhere in the world. I was also inspired by other campaigners who devoted their lives and still do to internationalist causes who turned out to campaign in the wind and rain. I don't remember the miners' strike myself, but I can see the sentiment of spirit of South Walian peoples, caring for other people that they had met in the same way as they cared for people all over the world. I have to be honest and say that as a teenager, my political fervour didn't catch on as much as earlier in my youth. My inspiration for that time was dominated by music, literature and drama, though I can remember when we did a play about the anti-apartheid movement in school, I was the only person who knew the words to Cozy Sikalele Africa, so I had to teach everybody the words to that song. My English teacher in school, um, the ever-eccentric Jennifer Evans, was my inspiration throughout school, although I doubt she actually knows it. Um, she nurtured us as prodigies to take on the world. She was a strong feminist, and our A-level studies were dominated by the likes of literature, like from Alice Walker, The, life of, the, the Wife of Bath, and a never-ending discussion on the love affair between Cathy and Heathcliff. I was definitely inspired by music, whether that was going to rock gigs or playing classical music in the orchestra, or when I eventually set up uh, my own folk pop band in university where I discovered playing ad lib viola. Um, that was the greatest musical inspiration of all, to know that I didn't have to follow a music sheet, that I could play what I wanted and nobody could tell me when to stop. 
Um, I was ever inspired, and still am, with little explanation, by female singer-songwriters, probably because I thought that I could empathise with them more than I could male artists, um, people like Joni Mitchell, Nina Simone, Elna McAvoy, Ashley Mayer, and now Thea Gilmore, the authors, Alice Walker, Margaret Atwood, Jacqueline Wilson, Gillian Clark, the Brontes, to political writers and activists like Mary Wollstonecraft, Simone Vale, and obviously the Green and Common women, and like you, you all have your own lists, but they are endless. Nonetheless, when I was um, in university in Aberystwyth, my political edge did well and truly return. Um, I don't think I could have ignored it, even if I wanted to. <laughs> I became involved in student politics, and I was women's officer at the National, um, not sorry, not the National Union of Students, but Aberystwyth Guild of Students, um, inspired by my lecturers, um, such as Richard and Jones, to put my political studies into action. Um, it did frustrate me that lots of people who did study politics in Aberystwyth merely um, studied it and 